Okay, we are ready to, oh, almost ready to, rock and roll. So, obviously, the sat is programmed. You've been through this whole situation before. I don't mm -hmm. need to bore you with the details. So, whenever you're ready and it's safe to do so, if you drive on and just follow the sat-nav. Cool. Good luck. Oh, I'm not gonna... There you go. I was going to say, why is it not? Lovely start, good double blind spot check there. Nice mirror checks also. Do you know the date today? Excellent mirror checks again. That's entirely up to you. It does depend on how safe it would be. I'm not going to, I can't really see on the right anymore. I got a bit too close. Cool. A nice expression is when in doubt, leave it out. Having said that, I don't know how long this guy's going to be stopped. <laughs> okay, yeah, a few bits of information. One, the yellow sticker in the top left hand cab, corner. Yes, mini yeah. cab. Um, we do also have hazard lights on as well, so the cab yeah. has lights, maybe picking up a person. Uh, so I don't know if you can see any pedestrians inside the vehicle. Mm, I can't, so no, I believe they're so probably still waiting, waiting for someone. someone. Why they don't park there? Yeah, I, I knew it was stopping. I didn't realize it was a cab stopping and waiting. Um, okay, I guess I will go around. I'll take a deep breath while you go around. <sighs> don't look at the cab. Don't look at the cab. He's not there. It don't exist. Here. A completely free and empty parking space there, but don't say anything. <laughs> okay, so hopefully the satnav should give us some direction now. Good. Yeah, it's not talking yet, but well done for seeing the picture there on the arrow. Turn well done left, for pedestrian. Nice. Then take the third left. Excellent observations also. Good multitasking. Nice, yeah, helpful. Perfect. First junction complete. if you went there and came back as well, no big deal. As long as we do try to use the left lane when we can, I'm not too picky. It's when we don't use the left lane. After That's half a mile, turn right, Page Street. Ooh, okay, so what we're gonna be doing is turning right the second traffic light, and it's not that far away. Okay. So if it's safe, we'll turn right at the second traffic light, coming out quite so shortly. Right. Mm -hmm. Nice, well done. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Really good. And the best colour as well. Stay After focused. 400 yards, no, turn you. right. So the right is where that grey car has just gone? Yes. Excellent. Um, so it's kind of trying to squeeze around the vehicle there that's in the middle of the road before the flashing lights. I'm just trying to make sure I've given you the correct information. Yes, that is completely correct. Yes. So where you saw the grey vehicle kind of wiggle around that is where we would be going. And just past that vehicle with the flashing lights will be the second traffic lights. The first and the second. And for everyone at home, this is five ways. I jokingly call it five guys quite a lot, so please don't get confused if I call it five guys. Great, not this one. Okay, yes. Okay. Got it. Excellent, well done. Oh, I don't know if I can get around him. Turn right, page uh, street. What we can do is probably just wait behind them, because the grey vehicle kind of got 
through. Okay, so this vehicle is confusing me a little bit. It does have the uh, lights and the arrow flashing, but the way it's positioned is what's confusing me because if it was to stop people from going in this lane, yeah. then why isn't it in, in this lane? lane? Yeah, so it's kind of holding two lanes here, which is slightly confusing. So now what I'm doing is looking at the mirror to see mm -hmm. the driver. And I don't see anything coming from the driver. They're just sitting no, there just and not that. really doing anything. I did see a larger vehicle in front of this, which is probably to they're together. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what was that larger vehicle? Is it cleaning the road? Is it doing some road works? You know, because um, this one might be stopping people from getting to that next vehicle. I'm just confused about how the car in front of us did it. Yeah. Unless think, you turned there, maybe. You no, I think there was a little gap. And oh, then just that's moved. where they vegged forward to stop any other vehicles oh, from getting through. Okay. So saying that... Oh, what the we, one in front is now yeah, Oh, right, brilliant. Okay, okay yeah, cool. Thing. So it does look like they're together. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't seem like this vehicle is going to move. Let's have a look next because that other vehicle is moving yeah. now, isn't it? So maybe. Yeah. Okay, we can wait here. We're not obstructing anyone, so that's <laughs> fine. Um, so I can't see too tough where that vehicle just went. Because uh, of no, I can't either. Yeah, oh, right, okay. it's, it's kind of gone off. so this one's not moving anymore, the other one's gone. So I reckon this is trying to stop people from getting through. I'm so if around. it's safe, okay. we'll try to go around this vehicle on the left hand okay. side. I feel like it might be you can wait as long as you need to. Next traffic light and then just zoom out before they do. Well done, yeah, because we do have that traffic light which is going to yeah. give us a big gap. So yeah, that's good planning. Alright, it looks like we might have to slightly change the route then <laughs> if that is the case and this is all blocked by these vehicles. So what we'll do instead mm -hmm. uh, is just continue to follow the road ahead. Okay, cool. Thank you. And ignore the sign map. See, we're not the only people no, getting confused. <laughs> Absolutely no rush, so just take the time. Should we aim for the signal, maybe? Yeah, traffic That's the best opportunity. Because this is a little bit frightening to get out of, and everyone coming at like 40, 50. <laughs> Do go. Yeah. Yeah, you can go now. It's fine. Uh, keep to the middle lane. Okay. And it looks like we can turn right at the traffic light. So just turn goes. right okay. here. Yeah. Thank you. And then just go diagonal into this lane and stop at the traffic light. Okay. That's lovely. Thank you so much. Cheers. And then that way we can just keep. Got it. Right. All right. Thank you so much. Like that happening on test day would have been yes. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that actually. So if that was the case, then the exam would give you the guidance similar okay. to how I did. Um, these things happen. It actually happened to me on one of my tests a very long time ago now, and the examiner just taught me through it. So don't worry. Even if you make a little mistake now, yeah. don't worry. I'll just guide you through this, and we'll carry on after. Because that's really. I, would, I don't know why I do if I was alone. I'd kind of just sit there for like ten solid minutes and just. I'd probably call my dad to be honest. I've had that happen before, so I've looked back <laughs> at footage from someone's test and yeah. Uh, so the examiners would kind of guide us at that point. Because it's not fair otherwise. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> she based on my dad like, look, this is where I am. Yeah, come get me. Okay, so this is going to take us, this is Page Street, and I'd like to say that there's twin roundabouts up ahead, and I call those the Page Street twin roundabouts. Looks like we're going to be revisiting them a few times on this route as well, so twin roundabouts can be a little bit tricky. Yeah. Uh, good luck. If you're a little bit confused um, by the sat-nav, the examiner would most likely give us the information, but please feel free to ask directions at any point on the driving test, and examiners are more than willing to help out with the directions. After 250 time, yards, really cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Page Street. Yeah, it's no left on the 
so yeah so left at the first one and then i believe we're going to be going right at the second one so left at cross the, first, the roundabout right at the and second. take the first exit good observations straight okay. correct that's fine yeah mm -hmm. cross the roundabout and take the second exit then at the end of the road turn right lovely well done with your observations Good twin roundabouts, and we'll be re uh, revisiting those again. Like At the end of the road, turn right, Wise Lane. This is a really big school bike. Yeah. Good use of signal. Well done. Sometimes when we're waiting for traffic, people think we're parking, so putting the signal on can kind of wake them up. Yeah. Turn right, Wise Lane. Let's go fishing for more information. Okay. And the condition of the tire also? No bumps. After 300 bumps. yards, turn right, Miles Pit Hill. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. So a little bit too much information there. Oh, I some scratches at home. No, no, no. Not oh, okay. yet. The sat nav. So it gave us quite a lot of information that can be a bit confusing. So if you have a look ahead, it's not the first right. It's the second it's the right. The green thing. Yeah. Turn right, Miles Spit Hill. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. Just this one here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I said around the green thing, and I realized that was another green thing. Either or, it's both good. Um, just this one's a little easier. Lovely, nice signal as well. Excellent. And back to the me question, you did the perfect answer, so that was good. Just to clarify, yeah, the scratches, cuts, either way, um, must have happened near the hospital. Turn right, Wise Lane. Turn right, Wise Lane. Turn right. Junction. Thank you very much. This will take us back to the twin roundabout. So we'll just follow the sat nav. It will give us a rubbish direction when we get there. So the examiners will do a better job than the sat nav. They will okay. tell you both roundabouts, both directions early. So when we get close, I'll do that. In the meantime, for everyone at home, if anyone's new to the channel, all the um, driver thoughts, if there are any or anything, will be done at the end. So if you're new, that will be at the end. If you're here for that, you can skip to the end. In the meantime, Please smash the like button, it does help a lot. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, Page Street. Brilliant. So, okay. Rory has told us the first roundabout right, and then the second roundabout will be left. Cool. Okay. Go 
right on the roundabout and take the second exit. You are allowed to go a little bit on the circle. That's absolutely fine. Correct. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Dunn's Lane. Then take the second right. Lovely, thank you. So that's the turn roundabout to page two. After 200 yards, location. turn done. right, Comptor Drive. Then turn left. So I believe it's where this black car just turned. Let's make sure I right. Turn right, then turn left. Very nice position. I should have gone just that way. On my test, am I allowed to respond to people like being nice to me like that, or do I still just have to wait? Turn um, left. Either is fine. Okay, cool. Yes. Um, Again, just a, a nice saying, when in doubt, leave it out. I don't know if that helps Yeah, like he blinked his light, so I was assuming like, oh, okay. Cool. Sometimes people will go over a speed bump and it makes it look like they blink their lights as well. Okay. So it's to be a little cautious, but okay, if you're cool. certain... Yeah. After 100 yes, yards, you can go. go right on the roundabout and take the first exit, Parkside, then turn left. Again, I don't really consider this to be a roundabout, so just go right on the roundabout yeah. and take the first exit, then turn left. This is where the examiners would take us to do the maneuvers. They have done emergency stops on this road, okay. and some parallel parking, etc. So, on the real test, we'll be asked to pull up at least three turn times left, to the left. The rise, then uh, at sorry, the end of the road, yeah. turn left. That's my fault. There's two different routes, one goes straight. I just realized this is the other one. I just put up here on the left, actually, just before the blue car. Uh, if you can stop somewhere near the tree, that'd be lovely. And that gives us at least one car length to move off. Absolutely brilliant, thank you. So this is part of the test examiner asks you to leave a car length to move off. So whenever you're ready, drive on and just continue to follow the nav. Thank you. Nice blind spot checks. Good with your habit of the double blind spot checks. Really good. Oh god, we're joining one of those big roads. Turn <laughs> left. Amazing. That's what why I way? really wanted us to go this way. Amazing. I saw that. I like, Super exciting. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, that was nice. Not lucky. Yeah. Uh, while we're following this road, just to mention to everybody else, you can be on this road and turn up into the road you just came out of. After yeah. half a mile, That's tricky. keep left. So whenever it's safe, we'll need the... Let's make sure I give you the right direction. Ah, good question. I believe you're correct, yes. Well done. I think you may have just noticed the speed sign there as well. Yeah, yeah. Right, again, there's two different ways you can go on this route, and I was getting confused between the two. But for this route, we're going to be keeping left. So nice and easy. Okay. Just stay as you are. Follow the road. After 400 yards, keep left. And I'm back to five guys. Yeah, thank you. Keep left. Does this light affect me? Because there's no stop line. Good, no stop okay, line. I was going to say that, that was a bit confusing there. I'm glad that you mentioned about there being no stop line. Yeah, because the guy in front of me went and I was like, hmm, <laughs> interesting. Good for not just, you know, being a sheeple and following the other person and making your own decisions. And that's excellent to mention. No stop line, no stopping. Oh, this is just a really fun room. Welcome After three heaven. quarters of a mile, turn right, B552, Parson Street. Oh, no, wait, this is fine. This is even like. Not too bad, VIP lane. However, yep. very shortly we'll be turning right at the traffic lights. Oh, so I still need to. Lovely decision making, well done. A nice lane position, how you kept that little gap there. That's very good. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm going to lose my head to hit the window. Yeah. Like that. After 400 yards, turn right, B552, Parson Street. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, lovely. So just be the Turn traffic right. light here, uh, following the bus if you yep. like. Good signal, very helpful for the traffic behind. Yeah, this one could be a little bit of a wait. I don't think this traffic light stays green too long. Right, it's been a little while since we've done a show me question, so while we're stuck here, it might be a good time just to go over it. Yep. Got any hiccups? Um, so, when it's safe, would you show me how to open and close your side window, please? There we go. That was too easy, so let's do a couple more. But on the real test, you only get one. Okay. Uh, when it's safe, would you show me how you would um, demist the rear? Mm, window, thank you. Yeah. Cheers, lovely. All right, I'll be quiet now. It seems like we're moving a little. And on the real test, we will be moving. So maybe after the traffic light, we'll do one more. Okay. Uh, you seem to remember the rear window one quite yeah. easily. So there's another one about demisting windows. We'll do that one on the move a bit later. All right, how are you feeling? Feeling okay so far, yeah. Yeah, and jump back in the driver's seat quite fluidly it was nice i don't know yeah. if you've had a big break I, or not i went driving yesterday in my cool. car just for right. like an hour with my dad but yeah Very other helpful. than that the last time i drove was like january oh wow okay so yeah it's been a little break um apart from that little traffic just yesterday so yeah how long an hour did you say yesterday an hour an hour and a half okay. yeah i did a bit of parking in a car. Right. yeah <laughs> yeah because my car doesn't have it has rear cameras but it doesn't have like so i Realised I didn't actually know how to board Bay Park without one. Okay, um, <laughs> stay that... tuned for the manoeuvre later. <laughs> but, but after about 20 minutes of me and my dad like, yeah, that was fine. All right, um, forwards Bay Park. I personally, if you don't have the cheat code, um, I feel it's the hardest manoeuvre on the test. I think it's harder than reverse and parallel and the other, the random one. Why? I don't really. I just. I don't know. I think it's because I'm quite short as well. I feel like I can't quite see over the bonnet. Like I can't see. My it's dad's always like, look at the lines. I'm like, you're six two. I'm five, I can't see over my bonnet like that. Yeah. He's maybe gonna see that much more of the lines. It's not gonna make a big difference because we can't see through all the paneling on the cars. Yeah. That's where the lines are. So, you know, it's near impossible. Yeah. That's the tricky bit. So, um, yeah, how did it go in the end then? It was fine. It was totally fine. Did you like get any pointers or just kind of got used to it? Um, I kind of realised that I was like turning a bit too early. Okay, I think that good. was the main nice thing pointer. I took out of it. <laughs> Lovely. Um, and then I realised that if I just look at my right lines, I know what my left lines are. All right, good. So simplifying yeah. it as well. I do that. The right lines I feel are easier because yeah. you're there, right? So seeing them just a bit that, easier. Yeah, so once he figured out that I couldn't see in front, he was like, just look out your window. Good tip. That's my traffic tip. After the crossroads, yards, so just a little further right, ahead. A five and four. Church Road, It'll be at the then traffic take light. the second right. So again, just linking back to anyone at home, uh, we are doing a crossroads next, and I feel that crossroads are just as important as roundabouts. Everyone focuses on roundabouts, but please do do a lot of practice on crossroads, turning right. Turn right, right then take the tricky. second right. Okay, cool, yeah, good identification with the signal on the oncoming traffic. Uh, slight critique on the crossroad, mm -hmm. little swan neck. I went I again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Means anything. yeah, I okay, went cool. a bit too Tiny much. bit, yeah. After 200 yards, turn right, no church vehicles end, there. then take so, the second okay. right. Not too bad. Turn right, then take the second right. Just here before the university, so it'd be this road on the right. 
and there's a tiny little box junction that's not really great for the road marking. It's excellent positioning from yourself. Well done, that's a tricky right turn, that one. Hard to see it. Uh, there is a university here, I think mm, you know. Yeah, Am I going to get it wrong? Middle Sankey, I was yeah. going to get it wrong. Thank you, Middlesex University. After 200 yards, turn right, St Mary's Crescent. Nice brakes. Turn right. Excellent brakes. Perfect position. I feel like something I haven't actually really had to do is crossroads very much that aren't just with a filter arrow, so I'm... I don't know, like, it feels like a weird thing to admit at this point, but like, I don't really know 100% what I'm doing on a lot of crossroads. Okay, I'm glad you said that. Um, the best tip is to look for the oncoming traffic. Okay. Sometimes that's what people don't do, that's, that's most likely the most common fault, and then they'll just turn into the oncoming traffic. Okay. So you said about the filter light, a lot of people might yeah. not know what that is, but a green arrow is a filter light and that will stop the oncoming traffic. If we don't have that, we really need to see the oncoming yeah. traffic. At the end of the road, turn left, Sunny Hill. Like I haven't really had to do many, um, like, turn left. where I have to stop in a box in the middle and stuff. Okay. I've been yeah. quite lucky. Yeah, um, the area that you live in doesn't seem to have we, too yeah. many, especially that one oh big one by your area. <laughs> tiniest, tiny. tiniest drawer, right? So small. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't really have a lot of them. I think we have more of the like filter, like straight or right arrows, so you kind of know what you're doing. At the end of the road, turn right, Greyhound Hill, then go straight on. Okay, so we're not too far from the test centre now. Um, I'd like to finish with the Ford's Bay Park news, <laughs> enough. Turn right, then go straight on. Lovely. So, um, to get to a car park, would you turn right to the traffic light, please? Okay. Thank you. Ignore the sign. Go straight on. Road. Yeah, like this right. Am I just going right? No, it's got those weird arrows. Lovely, good. So you're oh, noticing no. the road markings. Very good forward planning. Sometimes those road markings aren't there, so you know we have them. Yeah. If they weren't, how would you position if you needed to stop in the middle? Like, right? where would you stop? Obviously, overall, I would just panic and just stop around that there. Happens. But I'm not really yeah. like 100 percent sure. Uh, best advice I can give is if you imagine that there's a line down the middle of the road, yeah. try not to go over it. Okay. And then you see the middle of the road that we're turning into, like where that cement is, yeah. the island is, or that yellow mm -hmm. plastic barrier, like the ones yeah. in front. Stop there. And that's where that arrow is. Does that okay, yeah. make sense? Yeah. So if the arrow wasn't there, the lines aren't there, try to imagine the middle of this road and the middle of that road. Okay. And then just kind of stop in that position. Okay. Yeah. I think it is really weird that I've never really had to do one of them. <laughs> they don't come up too often. It's it's a bit tricky to find an area where there's lots of them. I don't know, know. Like, when I watch like a lot of like all the TikTok driving you stuff, see them. You see them all the time and I'm like, yeah. where are they? Like I've Because that's where all the faults happen and they highlight them and Oh Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so now I've got to wait here. If there is oncoming okay, traffic. Okay, I was gonna say, well, what exactly am I waiting for in this case? Good, well done. Oh. Careful. Very good coming back to the left lane. Well done. So, when we are turning into multiple lanes, mm -hmm. if the left is available, try to turn it just turn again. towards the left lane. All right, just follow the road ahead. Uh, it's quite a long road, and this will take us back past five guns. Uh, we're just heading to a car park near Mill Hill Driving Test Centre now. Had we gone straight at that traffic light, we would have ended back at the test centre. That would have been the end of the test route. We're no longer allowed to use the car park there, so we're just going to go use another one instead. So when I got honked out there, was that me or was that the guy next to me getting honked? 
Uh, it was the person next to us honking to make us aware that they were there. So okay. That makes sense. So good use of the horn. Um, however, was it needed? Like, did you know they were there, or I mean, how were kind you? Kind of, but yeah. I wasn't like, I don't know, were they meant to be there? I don't ah, know if that was a dumb good. question because the, no, I was on the right. That's what like, I was leading into actually. Arrow. So, yeah. I was confused where okay. they were there. Yes. Now, um, where should they? If we're going to do the whole should thing, should yeah. arrive ourselves. Uh, where should they have gone? Should they have gone in the right lane, middle lane, or left lane? I, mean, I would have thought they would have gone in the right. On the then, right. If, yeah. Okay. So into the fast lane, then basically like overtaking. Okay. Lane. Yeah. No, you're right. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. <laughs> they might do. Um, but if we're doing the should, that basically must, yeah. what lane must they use? They must use the left. Yeah, you yeah. got it. Yeah, I get the whole Beyonce song in my head again. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'm gonna edit the video to that clip that I told you of uh, probably get a copyright strike or something, but it's worth it. If anyone knows about like Pop Idol and stuff like that, Pop Idol's such an old reference, Jesus Christ. I don't even think like X Factor and stuff like that's still going, is it? I don't know. I, think it is. I don't think it's it? popular anymore. No, it's, I never. The only reason I watched it is when people did badly, like the ones I'm talking about. I used to like The Voice more than, uh, well, the more voice. than X Factor. All right. Were well, they pretty bad on there? Or? No, they're actually pretty good. I just really quite good. liked the concept. I was like, oh. So they don't see their face, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Turn. When they fight, when like two of them will turn and they fight. Oh, yeah, I did see old. that a few times. Um, Tom Jones and yeah. oh, the guy from, is it the script? The guy from the script, yeah. yeah. Danny. Pretty good. Yeah, Danny, that's Danny, it, yeah. Something. And who, there was a couple of girls on there as well, wasn't there? I can't remember who, like the original. I thought like Rita Ora was on there. Okay, yes, I, actually yeah, I think you're right, actually, it was Rita and I don't know who else, but there was four judges, wasn't there? But, oh, oh well, I, I am. am. Yeah, there we go. Snap. <laughs> All right, we're coming towards the Mill Hill Circus roundabout. Nothing too tough. When we reach roundabout, just like us to turn left, first exit, okay. and that would just take us past Mill Hill Broadway to the car park at Mill Hill Broadway Station. It's another car park that's often used by the examiners for both test centres, Hendon and Mill Hill. And we're just going to finish up in that car park for the manoeuvre. Good mirror checks. Just realised I had a second. It's well timed. Cool beans. All right, just follow the road ahead, past all the shops. Twenty could be a good speed for high streets, especially this one. It's super busy. Say anywhere, but. Correct. Yeah. So no signs. Then, yeah. yeah, you got it. However, I'm not going to go there either. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, something called appropriate speed. If you're going to get a bit geeky about full geek um, on the driving test, there's a section that says appropriate speed. So regardless of the maximum speed, we wouldn't drive there. It's not safe. Am I allowed to like on the test go on an orange light? Like, yes. Unless that woman. Obviously. Correct. Okay, Excellent. Yeah. So proceed with caution. That means uh, flesh and yellow. Proceed with caution. If there's someone using the crossing, we must wait. If yeah. there's no one, we can proceed with caution. Okay, we're just going to go under the bridge and then we'll reach the mini roundabout just ahead of us at the roundabout again. Nothing too tough. Just turn left on the first exit. Nice mirror checks. Good early position. Perfect timing on your signal, roughly five car lengths. Nice early vision, only decision. Well done. Okay, so the car park could be coming up on the left. We've got P for parking. If you would to just take this next left into the car park. Right, it's very narrow here and you yeah. may have other drivers coming out, so be ready to stop. If you can turn left and left again, just like a U-turn, excellent use of speed here. Nice lean and look a little bit there to try and see any oncoming traffic. Yeah, it's quite tight. It's it? super tight, yeah, so usually we'd have to stop if there was another vehicle. You said left again. Yes, please, thank you so much. All right, it does look a little busy, but I can see there's some spaces available. And there might be some other learners as we come around the bend here. We'll see what's going on once we get around the corner. Yeah, 
here and not too bad actually. Okay, so what would happen next is Xamarin would say, I'd like you to do the maneuver, drive forwards into any bay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I'm gonna go on the left. There are literally no lines left. Yeah, they're pretty poor here. Oh, I'm gonna go in. Good. Yeah, that's totally not in at all because I don't use the cameras. <laughs> that's all right. We can do a correction. It's absolutely fine. Okay. So okay. Okay. No rush. Take your time. When you're ready and it's safe, we can correct the position. Good. Very nice all-round observations for your correction. And for everyone at home, you are allowed to do this for all maneuvers. You can go back to the start, start over from the beginning on a driving test, no problem. We're allowed three minutes roughly to do the exercise. As long as we're doing it safely, we can correct multiple times. Excellent, good demonstration. So just those observations to make sure it's safe and go on your way about correcting the position of your vehicle. And just remain calm, take your time. And it's still not perfect, but it's in the line. It's inside yeah, the box. So all right, we'll take it. So if you wouldn't mind just securing the vehicle fully, Thank you. And then we'll go one extra and push the power button and turn the vehicle off. Well, that's the end of the driving test when the examiner asks us to switch the engine off. Alrighty then. Um, this is the best bit for me. <laughs> How do you feel it went? It was okay, other than one now guy beeped at me. That kind of scared me a bit. Um, but I, I don't I can't think of anything like awful other than that like moment awful i mean the probably that little bits like when you said i swan necked and yeah that kind of thing but I can't yeah, really that's good to cool all right i totally agree so yeah that was probably the highlight of the whole route was just that one part where we were turning right mm -hmm. and you had the vehicle on your right that beeped so try to just aim towards the left lane as okay. we go into mm -hmm. um that dual carriage road with the multiple lanes so mark that down as a minor because you didn't do anything really dangerous there yeah. um, but do try to use the left lane so that would be go down as normal driving so normal driving for everyone at home just means that we want to use the left lane. Um, we're going to cut to the chase. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, you have passed. Mm -hmm. There's uh, two other minor driver <laughs> faults. I wasn't expecting to I roll know, back. I know, it doesn't like, usually ah. happen. Yeah, me too. All right. Um, so yeah, we had a slight roll back on that hill. That, <laughs> that was surprised me. Just after the Page Street double roundabouts. Yeah. The only way that I've noticed that most automatic cars roll back is if we gently brake. Now, mm -hmm. gentle, gentle braking is excellent. But I should probably just... Maybe just yeah, when we okay. stop, just a tiny bit more pressure to hold that brake a bit more cool. firmer at the end. Yeah. yeah. And then there's less chance when we release the yeah. brake of it rolling. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way I've ever noticed that an automatic can roll back yeah. a little bit, okay? Um, and then the other minor driver fault would be the stop line at the traffic light yeah. at five ways. That's the correct one. I always call it five guys. Um, so yeah, just no stop line, like you said, no stopping. So mm -hmm. you did notice that. You did that independently, but we had slowed down. So well, these unmarked police yeah. vehicles drive around today. Um, we did kind of almost yeah, come I to did, did a stop down, there. Confused. You're very good with your mirror checks. There wasn't anybody behind us, yeah. so we haven't, you know, made any dangerous driver thoughts there mm -hmm. um just something to mention uh, for next time basically yeah. so uh three minor driver thoughts congratulations again on passing any questions no just like with the traffic like, i think that was my only one um is there like an obvious like i know that there wasn't a line but like from a distance i just kind of thought the guy in front of me was like you know <laughs> breaking the red line. Light, yeah. i was like oh interesting choice yeah, it happens but other a lot. than that like the light yeah. was like positioned very much like it was for you for me yeah is there like another way that i'm meant to know that or am i just meant to be uh, super I observant i hope this helps i'm not too sure so i'll just try and draw the road layout sort of a little bit uh, like this so the traffic light was kind of in the middle of the road yeah so the best way I could say if the traffic light is definitely for us would be the stop line yeah. before we went over that. And also the position of the traffic light. So had it been on the far left... It would have definitely been Yeah, because okay. we were on the far left. Okay, cool. So yeah. that might help for next time because there wasn't one there. Uh, okay. Less chance it's for us. Okay, cool. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, all right. Um, everybody that hasn't smashed the like button, smash the like button. Sorry to everyone on the live, obviously. 
I don't see it. I don't look at it. I don't know, but obviously it's switched off there. Um, if you haven't, follow us on TikTok. If not, uh, thanks again for sharing for everybody at home on YouTube. It's been a pleasure. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe. It's bye from me. It's